Yeah, it's a little dark, a little light. The light's coming up. Sun's coming up, if you will. I'd like to talk about something here in this video. It's kind of a follow-up to what I talked about before. And that was where I talked about the difference between Japan anime and American, Western American animation. And how Japan can pretty much do just about anything. Nothing is really off limits for them. They can add and talk about and do things in anime that you would somewhat see here, but not to the extent they do there. So, with that said, recently I was watching some videos. Because during the week my um, nephew was here, my nephew was going into the Navy in a few weeks. Uh, he kind of told me that he was getting reinterested in uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, of course, a lot of people knows that a lot of people know uh, that a lot of us got introduced to Yu-Gi-Oh officially for the first time. The majority of us for officially for the first time, courtesy of four kids. Four kids introduced us not only to the show and the characters, but introduced us to the game. However, there's one thing about Yu-Gi-Oh at the time that none of us really knew. But as soon as you would go on the internet, you would hear people talking about that this isn't the Yu-Gi-Oh that came, that was originally in Japan. In fact, a lot of them would say that, yeah, it's the same episodes, it's the same show in a sense, but there's a lot of things removed, a lot of things edited, changed. And a lot of people pointed the finger and basically said, four kids is to blame for it. And it wasn't just Yu-Gi-Oh! either. Shows like Pokemon, even though it was a show aimed, you know, made for kids and aimed at kids, also got the treatment, but not as bad. One Piece was butchered in, in, intently. You know, Neo, Neo Avalon was butchered. Card Captors was butchered. Um, Tokyo Mew Mew, butchered. Any anime that four kids gained the licensing fees to, at least for a year or so, ended up being butchered. It wasn't just licensing fees to air the show here in the States, but it was licensing fees to do an English dub version. And by doing an English dub version is what really pissed off a lot of fans. Because it wasn't just the edits of certain things that were taken out. It wasn't the elements taken out in these certain el um, um, edits and cuts. You know, it was scenes. That were taken out. And sometimes the scenes would just have the character licking the lips and that's it. No real problem about that. Right? Shouldn't be. And sometimes it'd be just a scene where they're, where they're talking and you wonder why it was taken out. Or it could be a flashback and you wonder why it was taken out. But... But, when people look at what four kids did, they look at four kids as being a company that really didn't understand what fans saw in anime. When Sonic X came out as an anime in Japan, and the third season, the final season, aired first in France, then here in the States, but aired in France uncut just as it did in Japan. When people saw Sonic X, they saw huge differences there. They saw a lot of things edited out, butchered, whatever. But again, Sonic X, Card Captors, Tokyo Mew Mew, Neo Avalanche, uh, One Piece, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, well, mostly the other ones besides Pokemon, but Pokemon is also in this category, not only had things edited, uh, elements removed, scenes removed, but they also had storylines, story arcs completely reworked and completely remade and rewritten in a different style. Basically, instead of giving us a story that we that was originally put together for Japan, we would get something entirely. You know, instead of at least coming out and saying, you know, hey, this character is going to die Oh, I want to kill, having, having the villain say, hey, I want to kill this character, I'm going to send this character to the netherworld. Instead, you say, Shadow Realm. Soul goes to Shadow Realm. 
you know, things like that. And these are elements and things that pissed a lot of people off and definitely put four kids at the time in a bad light. And even to this day, even though four kids is not around or at least basically near the end of extinct near the end of their extinction, four kids in their eyes put a lot of popular animes in a bad light. You know, they did things with these animes for Japan that didn't necessarily need to be done. Although if you're a parent an uncle or whatever, you can kind of understand from a parental guidance, or from a parental point of view, why they would do this. You could understand that this is the United States, that the shows they're putting out there are not just being aimed at the older audience, but mainly at kids. And they don't want the young kids to see this. And that's fine, perfectly understandable. But here, here's where the contrast comes into being. Here's where the contrast comes into being. The contrast is if you're doing, if you are a company that has obtained the licensing fees, if you're a company that's obtained the licensing fees to not only air the show but to do an English dub, then why would you have these Magnus graphic novels of the show you are airing be published. Why would why wouldn't you go out and tell the publisher, hey, don't publish shows. You know, people are gonna get confused. And you know what's crazy about this? I don't know if you can see it well, but on the bottom here, right here where I'm pointing, you have a T a rate a T rating, a rated T rating for those books. Basically indicating to you that the show that the anime that it's based on, the anime that four kids obtained the licensing to, was aimed at kid at teenagers. Pre-teens, teenagers, late teens, young adults. I mean, you, you read these graphic novels and you see exactly why people disdain for kids for what they did. I mean, there are sites online, like this is uh, Jujo something dot net. Or you could just Google in differences between the animes, like differences of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, differences of Sonic X. And you will get sites popping up telling you, showing you the differences, what was taken in, what was taken out. Well, no, what, I mean, what was put in, what was taken out, what was re-edited, what was removed, what story arcs were switched around. And it's like, to them, four kids never really understood. I mean, you take a look at a, an anime like One Piece, and a lot of people would look at four kids and go like, you know, looking back at it, they would probably think, did four kids not know that One Piece was more of a teenager, older adult, younger adult, older adult anime? Did they not understand that concept? You know, you take a look at Neo Evolved or whatever it is, same thing. Did they not understand that was a, an anime for teenagers, adults, in a sense? Same with Yu-Gi-Oh, same with, same with Yu-Gi-Oh and all that. I mean, Pokemon, Tokyo Mew Mew, and Card Captors, maybe you can make an exception for. But the other ones, the other ones, people would think, did they not understand? You take a look at Sonic X. Here's here's an here's another Sonic show. Probably one of the better ones out there. That even though it was good, I will admit it was. I will admit it was a good show, and probably because of Sega's influence didn't really get butchered to an extent that Yu-Gi-Oh! did or One Piece did because it was a show for kids as well. Take a look at Sonic X though and it did have elements taken out and sometimes those elements and scenes and stuff was edited and taken out because four kids just didn't think. I mean when you would watch the finale for Sonic X in, in season three the ending there between Tails and Cosmo, and what Tails has to do. They even, somebody even puts on YouTube a, a comparison between the two. A lot of people pretty much pooned and crapped on Four Kids ending, on the Four Kids ending, because when they would look at the uncut version, they basically said the uncut version was more superior to what Four Kids had given us, because Four Kids basically made Tails sound cold-hearted, like he didn't have any emotion at times. I mean, yeah, they gave him some emotions, basically saying he couldn't do it, he didn't want to do it. 
But the way he said it at the end, when he said goodbye, it's like, where'd this only come from? I mean, they take a look. I mean, when you take a look at what you know the uncut version was, it's like, you know, people look at this and stuff like that, and they wonder why would they even take a scene like that out when they know, in a sense, it doesn't make sense. There's no reason for it. Same with Yu-Gi-Oh. There were certain scenes, like I said, that were taken out where a character could be talking, licking the lips, that's it. What's the point? A flashback part could be taken out. What's the point? I mean, even when certain things would be in words. You know, it's like, okay, in the fifth season of Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi's getting ready to board the plane. There's a, a shot of a cargo, um, be, a cargo being set up or being put on the plane. It says Egyptian Air in the original. And the four kids, nothing. Absolutely nothing. And this is why fans, why fans of these of these franchises of these of these franchises on, of anime in general are not too happy with it. I mean, when you have a company. Okay, just checking my time now. Uh, but when when you have a company buy the licensing fees for an anime, when you have that company buy those licensing fees, you expect that anime to be exactly somewhat to what you've heard about in Japan. You don't expect it to be butchered or uncut. You take a look at Cartoon Network and their Adult Swim and their Adult Swim Toonami and even the Afternoon Toonami. And they never really shed away from anything. The Adult Swim Toonami is basically nearly uncut. And basically, dub-wise, is the exact same story arc and sayings if you were to watch the, the Japanese version. It's because the people there kind of get it. They understand that there are certain programs that you could air at, during the day, but if you want to re-air them at night, you got to make some slight changes. But you, they, they, they basically get it. Those people get it. Or they had it. They get it with Cowboy Bebop, Full Metal Alchemist, Lupton, you name it, Gundam. They got it. They understood it. But yet, and, and that was mainly what? Companies with like Fun Funimation, uh, Toei, uh, TMS. They, they knew that people like Cartoon Network and Adult Swim and Toonami understood it. Four kids did. And people like Toei Animation, Funimation. You know, uh, TMS. They were pissed. Bandai. They were pissed at Four Kids for what they had done. Four Kids had done things under the table that pissed them off. That caused them to lose a lot of the licenses, licenses, including Yu-Gi-Oh being the last major one they had. It caused them to lose it because of the things that they did. And I think it's not just because of that. I think it's because of the way they aired and butchered the show. That, that's what I think. That's what I think. That's what I feel for kids lost the licensing to a lot of the programs because of what they did. I mean, if you're a Japanese company and you're having your anime, your product, your franchise being brought over to the States for the first time by a company you think at first you could trust and then you find out you can't and then you find out why, visually and behind the scenes wise, you're not going to want to trust that company anymore. You're not. 